we're using the uh, Dream 100 strategy effectively in your network marketing business. I'm going to go through a little summary of this and how I used it one time to get my first ever five-figure payday inside of my business. So I'll give you a fixed example, kind of like a case study you can follow. Um, I'll also put a, a link underneath this video to the book where you can read about this. I'm not the creator of the Dream 100. Uh, Russell Brunson, I think Russell Brunson is, or he talks about it anyway from wherever he found it in his book, Traffic Secrets. So I'll leave you a link to that book. If you're quick, if it's still on, it's free plus shipping. So it's like 10 or $20 for the shipping and they give you the book for free. It's really useful and I like the audio book as well. So let me give you some highlights on this. And then if you want to, you can dig deeper using just this example, or you can grab the book and uh, some bonuses from that as well. So let's look at what the Dream 100 is. So first step of the Dream 100 is to identify the people, identify, if I can spell, identify the 100 people that already have the eyes and ears, the attention of the exact type of people you're looking to bring into your business. So, for example, you may look at people who have got the most successful blogs, authors, you know, they wrote a best-selling book on to your audience, uh, social media followings, let's put social, um, product creators, you know, is there someone with a hugely popular digital product that your audience is buying in droves? Um, what about coaches or consultants, right? There's a whole list that you can go through. Those are some great places to start, you know, YouTube channel right? Podcast. There's a couple more. We could go on and on and on, but those are great places to start. Who has the, the top sort of 10 or 20 podcasts in your target markets arena? So if you were to ask your audience or people who you're looking to sign up or looking to buy from you, hey, who do you listen to on a podcast? These are the people they're going to say. Who do you watch on a YouTube video? These are the people. Who, you, who have you got coaching from or who are you considering coaching from and so on and so forth? Whose blogs do you follow? Whose email lists are you on? Now we can start to see people who are operating successfully helping the people that you want to help with your product or solution, right? So it makes sense for us to see what they're doing and down the line partner with them because they've already got a huge audience of the exact type of people that you're looking to attract. I've, remember, I remember the first time I saw a huge spike in my podcast. It was my podcast traffic. You know, the graph kind of does this as you release episodes, and then it did this. And I was like, whoa, what happened here, right? This is downloads, this is massive general rule, and then whoa, big spike, big spike, big spike. And it actually went down to something like this and carried on higher up than before, and it never dropped beneath that. That's the truth of the matter. It, it was lower down, spiked, and then dropped a little, but maintained this now new higher level. And I did some digging and I realized that what had happened here was that someone who had a huge network marketing team had shared my podcast in their Facebook group, which had something like 80,000 people in it. So what they'd done is they'd said, you know what, I'm listening to this guy, Richard Mathru. He provides great network marketing training. I think you would get some benefit from it because they're a network marketer. They've got network marketing team members. Why not let me answer their questions? Why not let me teach them right, how to do better in their team? So they shared their podcast. So the day they shared their, my podcast in their group, huge spike as that post was near the top of the group. But then I picked up a whole bunch of subscribers who now heard my podcast every single day. So it significantly spiked my business. It spiked the number of interest I had in my podcast. It spiked the number of people that bought my products. It spiked the number of engagement that I got on that, on that platform. And that was from the Dream 100. That person that shared my podcast with their list was someone who I'd been building a relationship with over time, who I'd been following, who I'd been doing these following steps with. Let me, let me go through these. So the first thing you want to do when you've identified your Dream 100 is you want to get on their list. Go to their social media, click see first, go and join their Facebook group, go and enter into their email list, go and subscribe to their YouTube channel, go and be a subscriber of their podcast. Why? Because just consuming their content is going to give you a huge clue as to what is working in your arena. Now, you may not want to get on everybody's list in all those 100. I suggest that you do. You could probably set up like a separate email address and use that profile to do all of the following. So when you've got 10, 20 minutes in a day, dip into it, have a little quick check. Okay, anything important, significant going off, it gives you at least a great insight for 20, 30 minutes a day. Then I want you to buy... Maybe not from all 100, but if you can buy something 
from the very top, maybe the top 10, the top 20, buy their product. And the reason you're going to do that is you want to be able to get, and again, an insight into what's working with your audience, but you also want to be able to do something that's next, and that is build rapport and show results and value. So what that means is if you buy their products and they start to notice this, you're on their radar as an action taker. Also, it builds rapport. I mean, nothing, some, oh, I love your product, send a review through. I loved your product, I picked it up, it was fantastic. People appreciate that. It takes those content creators a lot of time and effort to build products. It's nice someone takes the time to say, I really enjoyed it. Also, most people, myself included, have an affiliate program where you're able to promote that product and make sales. So if you go out there and you, you buy this product, you get a result with it, and you then review it and get other people to buy it, you're making money yourself, but you're also popping up on this person's radar as someone who can actually do the numbers, who could be valuable for them to work with. I'll, show, I'll walk you through the process of how this worked for me. So I found someone who I wanted to work with. I wanted to be able to, my ultimate goal was to release a product as a joint venture with them. I had some knowledge that I thought would be useful. I didn't have an audience. So if I released a product without an audience, I'm not gonna get many sales. This guy had a huge audience of the exact type of customers that I wanted. So what did I do? First and foremost, I did the equivalent of joining his list. I joined his team in network marketing. I joined his team. I was open to join another team. I joined his team. That's like buying the product and joining the list, right? And then what did I do? I worked really hard my backside off with the methods that he was teaching me to recruit like affiliate sales. I started to talk about the relationship we were building. I leveraged that relationship to recruit some people. So I started to get on their radar. Who's this guy, Richard, popping up on leaderboards in my team, bringing numbers. So then what I did was, after doing that and building rapport and trust and results by doing the numbers, I say to this person, you know what? I've got a particular style that I'm using to get these results that I think would be really beneficial to your audience. I'm ready to create a product about the system that I'm that I'm using. I think this will be really useful for network marketers, especially your audience. I'm thinking of creating a product. And he said the magic words, because I've been through all this, he said, why don't we do it together? Why don't you create the product, send it through to us, we'll package it, and we'll, we'll sell it to my audience, we'll do a launch, we'll sell it to my email list, my social media following, and we'll split the profits. Happy days, that's exactly what I want to do. We did a webinar, it took an hour of my time. I don't even know how many sales it was. It was five figures worth of sales. It's the first time I'd ever had five figures in a payment in one city. Like I never realized that was possible. From a webinar, I took a weekend to create the video series for the product, sent them to him, so it was a weekend of my time. And then I did a one hour webinar five figures. Never, I was blown away. It was early on in my career. I was like, I, I didn't realize this kind of money was possible in 60 minutes. Like that opened up so many avenues for me. So it absolutely works. So there's a process you can run through. And in the book, uh, Russell's book, there is more strategies on how you can gain their attention, how you can work with them, how you can use their traffic with yours. He actually did it with Tony Robbins. Russell was able to do this method with the, one of the hugest marketers on the planet, which is Tony Robbins, and it's, it's created a huge business relationship for him. It opened up many, many doors. It's an interesting story, actually. So um, I'll leave that book in the link beneath here. Uh, it's called Traffic Secrets. Um, if you use my link, um, obviously, I, I think they give you like a dollar for that. So I appreciate the dollar, but it's more important you get the information. It's where I learned it, and it's very, very useful, this strategy. Also, if you're thinking of using this strategy to generate more interest and traffic, there's a whole bunch of other traffic methods in that book as well, which are very useful to have. There's also a bundle. I think it's a second or third um, offer they make to you because um, you get the free book. Then they say, do you want any more of these offers? I got the audio book and I got the book bundle. There's two of the books that he packages up with it. They're really useful as well if you want to build an online business and build a brand. They're, they're excellent books to have. But I'll let you decide what's most suitable when you go over to that link. Uh, I'll put it in the text area beneath this video. Or if you're in the podcast, I'll stick it on the uh, description area. As I always like to say, go create a day in a life that counts. Always have more desires and excuses. Whatever you're doing, have a fantastic day. If you're a subscriber, I'll catch you on the next one. And bye for now.